Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and today I'm going to look in on my lasagna bin. It's uh, been a couple, three weeks since we looked in on this, or since I looked in on this. I don't remember exactly when I uploaded the video, but um, let's have a look see. So, looks like we have a good concentration of worms right here. Kind of peel back the, the layer of the lasagna and it's looking like they're doing a really good job. It's, it's really wet, but we, I expected that because the feeding was super, super wet. So kind of just looking in here and seeing what we've got. Looks like they're doing a good job. Oop, look at that. It was right, right through the middle. I just love that. I think it's so cool. So looks like this layer of the lasagna is doing good. No, no worm in there. So I'll kind of try and cover that up a little bit. Try and move the bin around this way, see a little better. See this side here. But yeah, it's that apple goo certainly. Oh my. They're digging the apple goo. Lots and lots of worms. The food's not recognizable, but then again, it wasn't really recognizable when I put it in there. So right now I'm just kind of fluffing up, make sure because I, it is so wet, I'm going to make sure that it gets some oxygen to everything. But there's a good concentration of worms throughout this. Um, here's, here's like a weird thing that I do. Um, so when I'm cleaning out plants and whatever, I generally will put the bark or whatever that is in there in the bin with it. So I leave this in here as kind of a, a bacterial or fungus sink so that, you know, when I'm moving things from bin to bin, that there's always been enough of the, the bacteria that's in the worm bin kind of soaked into this mulch, which takes probably years and years to break down. It's hardwood, hardwood mulch. So you can see the variety of, of worm sizes here. So they're reproducing, they're happy. Not specifically looking for any cocoons, but you can certainly see that there's, to, I don't know if that looks like an African nightcrawler or not. It's very, very purpley. So I'm just gonna kinda come in here and fluff everything up look inside, see what they're doing. I'm not seeing any food, so I probably am going to give them some kind of a feeding. So I'm just going to get in here and kind of fluff it up, make sure nothing anaerobic is happening. There's This is way wetter than I normally do this. But they seem to like it, so who am I to argue with the worms? It doesn't do you any good to argue with the worms. Not at all. So I'm going to put that cardboard back, put this paper back, fluff things around a little bit here, and then I'm going to, it is going to be a light feeding today. Oops. Uh, it is going to be a light feeding. I'm just going to give them kitchen scraps and put this on top and then give them another layer of the cardboard. Um, but as you can see, the cardboard, the Amazon wrapper stuff is shredding up very quickly. So this has been two or three weeks. You can see the, everything's just coming apart nicely. So let me grab that bag. So looks like I've got some bread. I'm gonna put that into some little pieces just because it tends to 
turn into rock hard for some reason. Even if it's inside the worm bin, it gets super, super hard. So I'm just going to distribute that a little bit so that it doesn't do it all in one place. So I'll kind of move that around. Got a lime, didn't make it. This is going to be funny. The next time we see this, it will actually look better, not worse. It gets dehydrated in the kitchen or something. And I sometimes I'll put things in here that are dehydrated and then next thing you know, I come in here and I'm like, why did I put that in there? That looks pretty good. Why am I wasting food? But uh, I'll have to look back at this video and, and see. That's because it looked very, very bad and it was dehydrated and you put it in here and then it, the worms put it all back together. All right. So that's about all I'm going to feed them today. All right. I'm going to do two things. One thing that I don't normally do, but I have some, which is some expired uh, cornmeal. And I'm just going to put that on the top. That'll get around to it sooner or later. I'm not doing it for any particular reason other than it is expired. Give them some of their grit. Because I'm not giving them my pre-made bedding. They're getting cardboard sheets. So they don't have the exact same access as the other worms. So gonna kind of tear this up and fit it a little bit better this time since this is going to essentially be the top of the lasagna this time and I'm gonna want them to uh, eat this so just giving them a little bit more this is not my spray bottle but yeah I'm doing the bad thing just going to wet the cardboard down a little bit when I put it in here so that it gets started. Not going to pour it directly on the bin or anything like that. I'm just trying to get it moist so that it forms to everything. Probably used about a half a cup of water there. But that's it for the lasagna bin today. Give me a muddy thumbs up if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and ring the little notification bell if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Uh, but everybody, thank you for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.